say How they want you to take The next ten steps of your day Some people wanna tell you What they want you to do But I'ma live my life Why don't you just live your life I totally forgot that I was drinking coffee. Um, Miko thinks I'm talking to him, but I'm not. <laughs> Went to an orange theory class. It was a great class. I'm my my booty's gonna be sore for sure. All right, you guys, it's already after work and I had a really good day today. It was actually like my 90 day review and it's crazy how it's been 90 days already. It feels like, it feels kind of long, like feels longer than that. My boss actually took me to this nice Thai restaurant and, and I got a raise and I'm just so freaking happy and excited. A 90 day review raise, I think it's normal, right? Do you get a raise? after 90 days or what I don't even know but is that let me know because I I've been in education for so freaking long that I don't know what is normal I am in a good mood and I had a good day today and Thai food and I have leftovers that I'm gonna bring home so Brandon and I can eat it I actually got the chicken pad thai. Also, this morning, Miko was disruptive as F. So, how to pause that, how to pause my intro because he was being disrespectful. I'm gonna head home, relax, and I'm just in a good mood. So, I hope you're having a good day so far. If you're not, hopefully you can do one thing that brings you joy, whether it's like go outside, go on a walk, play some video games, read a book, watch some YouTube videos. I don't know, but do something that brings you joy. Even eating ice cream. Go get ice cream something to cheer you up because you deserve to be happy. Hi, puppers. Oh, I love you too much, see it? Being disrespectful? <laughs> Look what came in the mail. Miko's bark box. Ooh, <laughs> sniffing booty. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so he got this pork jerky trainer treats. He got these cheesy peasy soft bakes. <gasps> Ooh, he has this toy. And he has this toy. It's pirate themed. Pirate themed. Ooh, and he got pork and pineapple. Wait, boot, oh, booty bites. It's a uh, freeze dried dog treat. All right, Miko. You want the toy? I know you want the toy. Hold on. Let me, um. Hold on, Buzz. Hold on. Leave it. He wants a toy so bad. Ooh, this is very heavy duty because he's a heavy or super chewer. Yes, he is. All right, Miko. Here we go. Is that mine? That mine? Is that my toy? Super chewer. Lay. Super chewer. Your new toy. All right, Miko also has another package, and we're actually doing a UGC deal with this company. So, Miko, ow! <laughs> he dropped it on my foot. <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> ow. Okay, anyways. <laughs> okay, jeez, can you just chill? You're talking to him. I know, he thinks I'm talking to him. Place! Miko is actually gonna do a UGC deal with this brand. So we have to do a video this Saturday, Miko. Got it? Got it? 
We gotta do one video, and you're gonna get paid. Isn't that crazy, Miko? You're gonna get paid, you don't even know? Okay, here's the leftover pad thai. Brandon ate um, the rest. I'm actually gonna give him this one because I want the mac and cheese, Trader or and cheese. Trader Joe's pizza mac and cheese. Do you have the box? So this is what I'm gonna have for dinner. It is so freaking yummy. Pepperoni pizza mac and cheese bowl. And Brandon's gonna eat the rest of my chicken pad thai. It's like four bites anywhere. And Miko with his new toy from Bark Box. I am in the living room and it is almost 7 p.m. But I'm just down here hanging out with Miko. I gave him a lick ball so he better not be crazy and think that I'm talking to him. But I just want wanted to pause for a little bit and talk about how I am proud of my friends and proud of my brother. Like with some of my friends, one started her own like beauty business. One also got a raise. One of my best friends, she's a teacher and she's totally making a difference with her students and doing a lot for her community. I have another friend who, you know, just started school and went back to school and doing her thing. My brother started his job today. It's just when you get older, you realize that it's okay to start all over. It's okay to still figure out where you wanna be, who you wanna be. And it might take a little longer for some and that's okay. If you feel like you don't know where you're going or you're just unsure, definitely recommend to try different things and see what you like and what you don't like because if you don't try, you'll never know. That's one of the things that you want for the people who are in your life that you care about. You just want them to you know, thrive in their life, but also want them to be happy. So I'm just like very excited for a lot of my friends, excited for my brother. I think it's just important to celebrate people's accomplishments, be there for them and support them but today has just been such a good day and I've been in such a good mood, feeling good. So I'm on my laptop, I gotta do some things, oh, like UGC stuff. I gotta figure out what kind of video Miko and I need to do for that product that came in for him. So I gotta look at my emails, look at more UGC deals that I can apply to. If you don't know what UGC is and if you're new, it's user generated content and it's basically like brands pay random people you don't have to be an influencer you don't have to have thousands of followers like you literally just apply for a specific ugc job and if you get accepted then they ship you the products and then you just make a specific video depending on their you know what their detailed brief is and what they want you to do um so it could be pictures or videos or both but you get to pick what you want to apply so it's really fun because you know I love making videos and it's just like a side hobby side job thing um, just for like extra income and it's fun to do it's like I mean obviously I, I love doing YouTube and I've been doing YouTube for a while now and I don't think I'll ever stop doing YouTube and even though <clears throat> I don't have a lot of subscribers and I'm growing very slow I'm still thankful for everyone who subscribed to my channel anyways let's do some UGC stuff you guys every time I look at my bookshelf it looks so crowded okay not not too crowded but I've been eyeing on this um, viral, okay, it's a, it's been viral a long time, but the Ikea lac wall shelf, the white one, like I wanna get it, but I feel like I don't have that many books to get it, but Brandon said like he has some books too, and we can like both put our books on here. We just need to figure out where we would want to put it. We might put it upstairs. I also want a mirror here. I honestly want a mirror like right here. But the thing is, oh gosh, I'm so sorry about my damn dryer. That dryer is annoying. But anyways, I really want like a big mirror here. Like the same mirror that I have upstairs, but here. 
but the thing is miko sometimes he has like zoomies and he when he has a zoomie sometimes it's like random too he this couch would like move right here and we're kind of scared that he would like break the mirror and since we have wooden floors it's hard for him to like really run so he like slips sometimes but it would be so nice to have a mirror right here it would it would be perfect it would be perfect but miko here he's a little bit crazy guys it is my lunch break and i am just usually i'm not in my car during my lunch i'm in the break room but it is 2 52 my lunch break honestly i love that we can take our lunch anytime we want i just wasn't that hungry because this morning we had our, our company breakfast and i was still full we had pancakes we had sausages bacon hash browns eggs so i was full for a while my boss had an extra drink so she offered it to me <laughs> so i think this is the ice green tea which it's like sweetened it's really good though and refreshing today has been super chill i mean i feel like every day is pretty chill especially when there's no events or anything like that so i've been creating some social media content what else oh email marketing this day feels like it's going by so fast that i like forget what i did <laughs> i'm gonna go on my phone for a little bit after work i'm actually gonna go get cafe yumbles and i'm so excited i hope they have the southwest chicken i don't know if cafe yum is like a local thing or just a pacific northwest thing i don't know but it's like a cafe yumble has like rice black beans cheese tomatoes onions black olives and this like sauce this really yummy sauce and you can, we can you can add chicken so we add chicken in ours and it's so fr oh and avocado can't forget avocado but it's so freaking good when you mix it all together it's like freaking chef's kiss but the sauce is the main ingredient and that makes it blend so well together and you can buy it at the store yeah you can buy the the sauce the cafe yum sauce at the store um i'm gonna show it right here because i don't know if it's like a local thing or not like it's so good the sauce is expensive but if you get the big bottle um it's pretty pretty okay price anyways i'm just gonna hang out in here for a little bit this is so good you guys the good stuff I feel healthy eating this, honestly. Got the nachos, salsa. Brandon got the same thing. All right, you guys, I'm about to straight my hair. Is this all puppy? The other day, I watched the vice presidential debate. Not gonna lie, it was actually refreshing to see, you know, having an actual debate without bashing each other and just, you know, they were both respectful to each other and they mostly like listen to each other and that's what i love to see honestly ever since probably like 2016 is when it started to have this like when the debate started being all crazy 
you know, like a reality TV kind of thing. Very entertaining, but also very embarrassing. 2017, when we went to when we went to Europe, we did not say we were from the U.S. Even though we just say Alaska. I mean, some people they don't even consider or even think that Alaska is part of the U.S. But during that summer of 2017, we just said, yeah, we're we're from Alaska because we are from Alaska. There were two topics that I was very interested of like listening to. These are very controversial. I feel like all the topics on there are controversial, but I just want to just share like my opinion, especially when it came to gun violence, school shooting. As a former teacher who's been in education for a long time, that's one of the topics that has been <sighs> It's like very frustrating, you know, because there are things that we can do and a lot of other countries, you know, when they have issues when it comes to gun violence, they try to fix it, make a change that will protect the people. When I heard that a solution would be stronger walls, stronger doors, like that already like gave me high blood because and like increase security resources and in my head i'm like with what money with what money what funding because with education especially public education there's no funding there's barely any funds to pay the teachers and so when i heard that i'm like really really stronger doors stronger walls sure that would help but it's not gonna fix the main problem. This is just based on my own experience, on my personal opinion. So like you, you're able to have your own opinion. You need to look at gun violence research and look at other countries who's doing well and having barely to no issues when it comes to gun violence. Or I'm not saying we're taking people's guns because that's not like sure, of course, like protect yourself, but why? do we need, why do we personally need an AR-15 rifle? We definitely need to fix it because it's just so common in the US and it's honestly so embarrassing when we know we could fix something. We did like lockdown drills when we were kids, but as an adult and you're actually doing the lockdown drill and sometimes having some scary situation, and you're with kinder class or you know just any any grade when you're with kids you have a different perspective i get like emotional talking about it because these are freaking babies you guys like innocent kids and it's just insane to me that people would go to schools and harm them harm anybody doesn't even have to be kids, like anybody. It's just insane to me. Miko, sit. Miko's gonna try the cheesy peasy soft bites. Ooh, Miko, you love cheese. I know, you're excited. Do you wanna smell? Smell good? Ooh. Okay, you get to try one. Is that good, Miko? Oval. 
Okay. Oops. Coffee. Now I don't drink it black. That's, I do want to try in the future to do less and less creamer and just have it plain black drip coffee. So, but right now, I'm gonna need some creamer. It is Friday. It's a game day at University of Oregon. Football. There's one game where my where um, my parents are gonna go with us, and it'll be their first time. I'm excited for them to experience a UVO football game because it is. I just love going to the games because it's a it's like a good a fun a good experience. And if you hear Miko licking his bowl, he's just he's just out there. He's very loud. I'm talking to him anyways if you like this video please subscribe stick around and if you love golden retrievers I'm always gonna show him so thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time